Picking, 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 picking. Picker pals. Picking, 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 picking. Picker pals. We're the picker pals. Thank you for coming to the Picker Power Picker Pals Picker Studio Story Studio. The st the Story Studio. And I'm going to read you the Picker Power book, um, which is part of the Picker Pals adventure series. And in this book, we'll find out about the adventure of a crab called Craig and a, a lobster called Pierre, who go on a litter picking adventure. So let's start. Picker Power. Pick me, Miss Claudia, pick me! All of the picker pals wanted the picker pack. They all wanted to go down below. Everybody really hoped that their name would be picked out of Miss Claudia's bag. They all loved going on litter picking adventures. Miss Claudia reached into her bag with one of her eight wriggly legs. I wonder who it's going to be this time, she said. She read out the name cards. Craig and Pierre. The two friends squeaked with excitement. They clicked their claws happily. Amy and Kai, last week's pickers, handed over the picker pack. Have fun, be safe and pick up lots of litter, they said. Craig and Pierre read the important picker pal's rules. Now they were ready to get into the basket and go on their adventure. Everybody came down to say goodbye. The big red crane started to lower them down. <coughs> Craig and Pierre waved to their friends. Down, down, down they went. Craig looked over the edge of the basket nervously. We're very high up, Pierre, he said. Bump! The basket came down with a big bump on Hopetown Beach. Everything went flying through the air. The pals went flying too. Crash! They landed on the sand. Craig landed on top of his friend. Ouch! cried Pierre. Sorry, Pierre, said Craig. Oh dear! Look at all this litter, said Pierre. The people of Hopetown haven't been looking after their beach very well. OK, let's help them. Let's get picking. Let's clean the beach, said Craig. They put on their gloves to protect their claws. They picked and picked. Soon the beach was much cleaner. That's better. We made a big difference, said Craig. Pierre set off up the beach. Let's go to Hopetown and ask the people there to stop dropping litter, he shouted to Craig. Craig tried to catch up, but Pierre was too fast. The bag was too heavy. Wait for me, Pierre, he cried, but Pierre didn't hear him. Pierre didn't wait for Craig. He broke one of the picker pal's rules and hurried off. Poor Craig was left all on his own. He started to cry. Craig tried his best to try and find Pierre, but he found a big bottle instead. Wow, I can have fun in that, he thought, and cheered up. He climbed into the bottle and swam around. He was having such fun, but Craig had broken a picker pal rule just like Pierre had done. The bottle started to roll and spin. Round and round it went. Whee! squeaked Craig. This is the best thing ever! But all of a sudden the bottle tipped and slid down the rocks. Whoa! squealed Craig. Stop the bottle! I want to get out! The bottle stopped, but Craig couldn't get out. He swam and swam until he got tired. Help me somebody! Please! he cried. Then Craig saw something terrible. It was a monster looking in at him. Yeeks, it's the big red crab eater. Help, help, he shrieked. But it wasn't the big red crab eater. It was Pierre. Picker power, he yelled and made a big hole in the bottle with his picker upper. 
whoosh, Craig shot out of the bottle. On a powerful jet of water, he landed on top of Pierre again. Sorry, Pierre, he said. It was time to go back up to Picaropolis. They got into the basket with the picker pack, the bag of litter and the bottle for recycling. Up, up, up they went. Sorry I left you, Craig, said Pierre. Sorry I got into the bottle, Pierre, said Craig. Thanks for coming back. All of the other picker pals were waiting to see them. Welcome home, Craig and Pierre. Well done, they shouted out happily. Craig wrote his report and drew a nice picture. Miss Claudia stuck it in the class album. Another great picker pals adventure. Miss Claudia took out her little blue guitar and they all sang the picker pals song. Where the picker pals, we have picker power. They sang until it was time to go home. Another day had passed, another day that the picker pals had made the world better. The end. Thank you for listening to that story. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, come again to the story studio. Goodbye. Don't get sad. Don't get bitter. You can have fun. You can get fitter. Get your picker upper and pick up that litter. <laughs>